Welcome to the ANZ HFR 2020 lecture series. I'm Elizabeth Armstrong and I'm the manager of the Australian Hip Fracture Registry. And I'd like to just present today on data quality for the Hip Fracture Registry. Data quality consists of three different things. Completeness, full capture of eligible cases, and correct data into each of the variables. Completeness refers to the proportion of variables in each record with data. The ANZ HFR reports completeness by hospital in its annual report. And you can see an example of this reporting for 2019 annual report using 2018 data. The denominator will vary depending on the responses for each record. For example, someone who does not undergo surgery for their hip fracture will have fewer variables available to be completed. And completeness is calculated as a proportion of those eligible var variables per record. The second part of data quality is correctness. And this relates to the accuracy of the data entered to each variable. Correct data allows the information to accurately inform local improvement initiatives. In 2018, the ANZ HFR undertook a pilot project to trial a method of checking data quality, and it has since been replicated by one New Zealand site. The framework developed was published in 2019. Sites may use the same method should they wish to include a process for checking the accuracy of the data held in the registry. The registry suggests randomly selecting 10% of records for audit. For small volume sites, a minimum of 10 records are suggested, and for large volume sites, a maximum of 25 records. The third aspect of data quality is called capture or ascertainment. So at the level of the participating hospital, capture relates to the proportion of eligible patients admitted to the hospital that have a record created in the ANZ HFR. A patient is eligible for inclusion if they've been admitted to the operating hospital, have a minimal trauma fracture of their hip and are aged 50 years or over. All people with these characteristics can be included in the registry. People who opt out only have their demographic details recorded so that a record is created in the registry. And then the opt out checkbox is ticked. No clinical information is recorded, but by creating a record, there is a record of both their capture in the registry and their decision to opt out. At the level of the registry, capture is measured by the proportion of hospitals contributing data against the number of hospitals eligible to contribute. And it's also measured as the proportion of all hip fracture cases in Australia and New Zealand that have a record in the ANZ HFR. High levels of capture at participating hospitals ensures that information from the registry is able to be generalised to the whole population. So data quality is made up of correct data, complete data, with all eligible people captured. Achieving these three things will ensure that each hospital can reliably use the information from the ANZ HFR to review and inform the hip fracture care provided to older people in their community. If you'd like any more information on the registry or on aspects of data quality, please feel free to contact me at the details on the slide. Thanks.